Hi, I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist and an Adobe Express ambassador, and I'm thrilled to guide you through this course. To start, let's think about everyday tasks that you've done, maybe organizing a party or setting up a workspace. These activities involve planning and arrangement, much like visual composition in design. Composition is all about arranging elements in your design. Think of it as creating a visual roadmap. We'll explore core principles, the rule of thirds, visual hierarchy, balance, and symmetry, negative space, contrast, repetition and rhythm, and complementary design elements. These principles help ensure your designs are visually appealing and effective. Let's start with the rule of thirds. By dividing your design into nine equal parts using two horizontal and two vertical lines, you can place important elements along these lines or at their intersections to create a balanced and engaging composition. A great visual reference in Adobe Express is the crop tool. I'll select my photo, and then I'll select Crop, and notice the overlays that appear to provide visual guidance if I want to crop the photo. This can be really helpful as a guide as you design. Next, we have Visual Hierarchy. This is all about arranging elements from most important to least important. The most important element should grab attention first, guiding the viewer through the rest of the design. A few ways to achieve this, differing size or color, which you can spot in this Adobe Express template, of which there are thousands to help you get your idea started. And while we're on this design, balance and symmetry are crucial for calming visual chaos. Symmetrical designs are balanced and harmonious, like these two music notes on the left and stars on the right, while asymmetrical designs can add dynamic interest if done thoughtfully. Something like this logo. The shape is symmetrical, but the design inside isn't, which creates visual interest. Next, negative space or white space. It's all about giving your design room to breathe. It helps avoid clutter and it can highlight key elements like this photo I found in backgrounds on the elements tab in Express. And contrast is essential for making elements stand out like this illuminated light bulb. You can achieve contrast by varying color, size, or shape to create visual interest and emphasize important parts of your design. A few more. Repetition and rhythm create unity and consistency by repeating elements throughout your design. This can be through colors, shapes, or patterns providing a cohesive look. Finally, complementary design elements ensure all parts of your design work together harmoniously. This can be achieved by using elements that complement each other in color, style, and function. In this example, I've slid over to shapes and choose some options from lines and arrows for emphasis, which totally match the aesthetic of this particular image. By understanding and applying these principles, you'll be able to create compositions that not only look great, but also communicate your message effectively. And Adobe Express is the perfect place to learn, experiment, and grow as a content creator.